Normally to calibrate the ESC in a simple system, uh, we would just power up our transmitter, power up our receiver that's connected to the ESC here, put our throttle to high, and then connect the battery to the ESC. The ESC beeps, tells us it's gone into calibration mode. At that time, we would lower the throttle it would beep again, telling us it's calibrated the high throttle and the low throttle now. That would be the end of it. We could then disconnect. The problem becomes when we take the output of the RC receiver and connect it to the PixHawk and then take the throttle servo out of the PixHawk over to the ESC uh, it has to be in manual mode as if there were nothing in between when we power up the ESC. Now the PixHawk can be programmed to come up in manual mode, but that'll happen just a few milliseconds or whatever after uh, you power up the battery. So that would not be in time to put the ESC into calibrate mode. Now, a lot of us power our PixHawks, APMs, whatever, with one of these current sensors. And if the current sensor is plugged into the ESC, oops, there we go, ah, the hay, there we go. <laughs> uh, when we power up the PixHawk, down here on this end of that same connector and the PixHawk powers up. You don't need that external receiver battery there anymore. <clears throat> when the PixHawk powers up, it doesn't really see the throttle position over here unless it's in manual mode. So one of the fixes for this is if you have this type of uh, uh, current module just don't hook this part up to the ESC yet you've got your battery connected to power the PixOck off the current sensor you've got your RC receiver coming in on the RC input of the PixOck you've got the throttle whatever you're going to be doing, throttle, uh, whatever ESC you're going to be controlling, coming out for RC control, but you still don't have the ESC connected. At this time, you put the PixHawk into manual flight mode through whatever process, it being the default flight mode that it comes up in when you power it up from any source and you move your throttle to the top position. While it's in manual mode, this throttle position is being fed through the RC receiver into the PixHawk. Because you're in manual mode, it's going right back out to the ESC so that when you hook up the ESC, now it sees the high throttle position, knows it's supposed to go into calibration mode. It does its little beeps, whatever the documentation for the ESC says is going to happen, which is usually a series of beeps. After that series of beeps, you lower the throttle. It'll give you another series of beeps and then beep the number of cells that are in the battery usually. And that's the end of it and you can power everything down.